Hi, Jess here from Morrison, Colorado, Esborn Books and More, and I'm going to speak with you a little bit about some of our preschool books. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the Lift the Flap. First, questions and answers, how do flowers grow? This is a great book because it goes through the different questions on where seeds come from, why do leaves fall, um, and it goes through the different elements of water and wind, and it's very, very nicely illustrated. It's a beautiful book. Um, lift the flaps so it keeps the children very involved in reading the book, which is very nice. The next one that I'm going to show you is a really fun book. I want to be an astronaut, a stuntman, a spy, or a fighter pilot, and it's about these two little kids, a little boy and a little girl, and they go through and discuss what they want to be when they grow up. And I think this one is an archaeologist. I'll excavate ancient tombs in lost cities and discover artifacts that are very old, and I'll study them and unlock secrets from the past. Or maybe I'll be a fighter pilot. And it goes through, each of the pages are very well illustrated, very bright colored, very fun, engaging for kids. They really want to stay in, involved in this book and read this book to the end. I really like the last page because it does say, but we don't have to decide just yet. I can just dream of having big adventures. So it's a lot of fun. Um, the other book that we have is I Want to Be a Lion Tamer. Muddle and Match is a great series because it does have a lot of fun characters in there. And as you're doing the characters, flipping through, um, the story gives a lot of rhyme repetition. So it teaches the children the early development into the fundamentals of reading. So, and it makes it fun. So they're learning, but they're also playing as well. So that's a great one. This one is a lot of fun because they discover something new. It's the flippy floppy lift the flap. And this one's Ocean Animals. And what it is, is uh, I'm hiding. Can you find me somewhere? You lift each of these and it gives you a different sea creature that they're finding. And then they find what they're looking for. So it just really gets the kids involved. It's a lot of fun for them to learn these um, different lift the flap things and learn the different sea creatures that they're reading about. This one is about Billy B. Brown. Billy B. Brown is, she actually has her own chapter series um, for a little bit older kids, as well as her best friend Jack, and those two chapter books intertwine with each other. Um, but this one is about Billy B. Brown going to preschool, and it's just a short story about her being super duper um, adventurous and her active imagination. She doesn't really want to go to preschool, but when she gets there, she ends up having a lot of fun with her friend Jack, and they have great adventures um, going to the desert and flying on a magic carpet. So this is just a very, very cute book. It's one of our new releases that came out in January, so that's a lot of fun. B is for Bedtime is another one. We really like this book because it has the... Uh, uppercase and lowercase alphabet. The story is very, very cute, and the colors are very um, kind of toned down. They're not as colorful and vibrant to not stimulate your child right before they go to sleep. And um, the pages in this book are, are laminate, so they're very, very nice, very durable pages. This is a very, very cute book. One of our favorites here in this house is The Opposites book. It's also a lift the flap. Um, just a lot of fun, hot, cold, good dog, bad dog, because he's eating the cookies. Love how it says, uh, lift the flap and find these things above or below the waves. So where would the anchor be? Well, it would be below the waves. 
in the airplane, well, that would be a buff. Both my four-year-old and my 21-month-old love this book, um, and they actually read it together, and it's a lot of fun to see them interact with this book. We also love the Gobble Gobble Moo Tractor book. This is one of our favorites um, because it teaches a lot of rhythm, rhyme, repetition. Again, the fundamentals of reading and really getting the children involved in reading the book and being part of the book because they can make the animal noises with the animals in this book. These, this book is so brightly colored and very well illustrated. It's just a fun all around book. It's about the sheep that wants to take the tractor out for a spin while the um, farmer is sleeping. So it's very cute. We have a lot of fun reading this book. Five Minute Bedtime Stories is a great book um, because it does have beautiful illustrations, but what I like about it is that it also has pages that don't have a lot of illustrations on it, so my four-year-old can be using his own imagination before going to sleep while I'm reading him the story, and I really like that um, idea of having him, you know, really come up with the different pictures in his head on his own. They have their own little bookmarks, so you can put the bookmark in and pick up where you left off the night before. These are hardback, but very cushion hardback, so it's a very, very cute book. The um, white clean books are very nice to have around. I love these books so much. It gives the children a opportunity to trace the numbers. This is, I'm sorry, this is getting ready for school, the one, two, three, and ABC books. So it's two books combined into one. Um, so they get to trace the four, or trace the windmill, or the bug, or the flower down here. And it really teaches them how to have that pen control, as well as teaching them how to do their numbers and their letters. These are a lifesaver. I take these with me everywhere I go. I take them with me to the doctor's office, to restaurants, to even the library. <laughs> um, I take them with me to, you know, the DMV. I always have one of these on hand and both my four-year-old and my one-year-old really, really like to get involved in these. With my one-year-old, just a little tip, I don't give her the marker, but I give her a washable crayon. And then I just use a wet wipe to wipe it off. So anyway, hopefully you found some books that you absolutely love. Thanks.